Hey guys, I got another CNC plasma table project going on in the shop today. Uh, my neighboring fire district in Cannon Beach has about 180 fire hydrants and a lot of them are oceanfront. And the hydrant tags that were on there have long since disintegrated and they're trying to upgrade their system and, and renumber the hydrants for a, a PMS program. So anyway, they asked me if I could come up with a better design that would hold up better to the marine environment. So I decided to try and cut a couple of tags out with the CNC plasma table using this 14 gauge stainless right here. And uh, it's got a kind of a polished finish. This is just a leftover scrap I have. I'll end up buying a little bit more. Uh, but it looks like it's gonna work out pretty good. Uh, I was a little worried about how small of a font I could go with and I ended up being able to get it down to about a three quarter inch tall uh, number and letter font uh, and then the tags are just a couple inches wide and so it, it ends up it ended up looking really good so without any further delay let's take you to the computers and show you what i designed and start cutting these things out all right in fusion 360 i have a template that i made up for each one of these tags uh, so basically what i'll do is i'll take this template and then uh, edit the sketch for the hydrant number Putting the appropriate number, in this case will be AC502. Once that's done, I'll explode that text, which turns it into uh, an outline that the CNC table can cut. And then I'll delete my construction lines. And this one's ready to go. Then I'll export this one as a DXF so I can open it up in sheet cam. And once that export's done, the next step is to fire up sheet cam. Once we've got all of our DXF files exported, we can open each one of those up inside a sheet cam. And then in sheet cam, we'll do our layout. So we're gonna lay each one of these DXF files out uh, in the most efficient manner that I can come up with. And since each one is different, I can't do a parts array or anything like that. I actually have to lay out each one individually, but it doesn't take too long with the keyboard shortcuts. And once I've got them all laid out, I need to create cut paths for each one. And so for the font and for the whole, we'll use an inside offset. And then for the outer shell, we'll use an outside offset. And this way we make sure that the curve's on the proper side of each line. And it doesn't take too long, but I gotta do this for each one of these drawings. Um, again, keyboard shortcuts make it pretty quick. And once I have cuts programmed out for each one of these, we can send it off to the CNC table. All right, those things look pretty good. Time to get to work and make 175 more of them. Okay, that's it. 171 of these tags are cut out and bent and polished up. I think they came out looking pretty good and I'm sure that the fire department's gonna be happy with, the, with these for their hydrants. Being stainless steel, they should outlast the hydrants that they're bolted to. This 16 gauge material is pretty thick. It'll keep people from monkeying around with it and uh, should hold up well to the marine environment. 
All right, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and uh, I've got a couple more CNC table projects coming up, so stay tuned. Thanks.